Hello everybody, it's Vincent from ENV Entertainment, and today I've got something really special for you guys. Uh, in the past, when companies have reached out and asked me to try some of their gear, it was usually a company I had an established relationship with. I had a few of their microphones or pieces of gear, and they reached out to me to offer me something new because I already had a relationship. I'd purchased some of their products, I'd featured them on the channel, and that was cool. But I've been looking at uh, a pretty high-end microphone on, uh, and discussing it on a couple of the web boards, and one particular microphone kept coming up in conversation from everybody who saw that I was looking in this price range, and that was the uh, Chandler Limited Red microphone. And to my surprise, Chandler Limited reached out to me and said, hey, why don't you demo our mic before you spend that kind of money? And I, of course, was like, absolutely. Send it to me and I'll... Uh, I'll post some stuff, and so today, I'm gonna post some stuff. Um, we've got two samples for you guys. Uh, one is gonna be a classical sample of an operatic piece with my voice and piano. Um, maybe orchestration, we'll, we'll see how things go depending on what type of time I've got. Um, and the other will be a, a crooning sample of an original song I wrote that I featured on the channel before. But that way you guys can, you know, hear what this mic sounds like. Now this microphone has two voicings. It has a normal voicing and what they call low contour mode. And low contour mode does something different to the low end, really giving you a whole different sounding microphone, which makes this microphone very versatile. It could easily be your workhorse mic and you could just change what mode you're using it in as needed. The other thing that this microphone has is uh, a drive button. Now, this mic is both a microphone and a preamp. The preamp is built into the microphone so that there's no loss going from the microphone to the preamp. You don't have to worry about what cable you're using. It's, you know, everything is right in this one package, which is really, really cool and interesting. Now this microphone has a drive button, which kind of engages that preamp a little more. It pushes it, you get more of a tube quality, more of a vintage sound. Now this is their sort of RED 47 preamp built into the microphone. So you can get that vintage sound with that microphone. Now the Chandler RED is also using a capsule that's brand new. It's not based on any of the old classics. It's platinum instead of gold, and it's a, an all new design. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at two different samples, an operatic sample. Now in the operatic sample, I'm gonna be engaging it in normal and low contour mode versus a U87 AI. Why? Because I think the U87 is a microphone that a lot of people know, and it'll give you kind of an idea of what this sounds like. Also, because I really do think this would make a good workhorse microphone, not just a good vocal microphone, um, it's good to put it up against the workhorse microphone in most professional studios. Now for the samples, in operatic mode, we're gonna keep it in normal mode. We're not gonna use it in drive. I just prefer that mode on the operatic singing. But for the crooning vocals, we are gonna to listen to it with drive engaged. Now in order to make the U87 kinda of sound like it's in the same vein, we're gonna use an emulation. In this case, we're gonna use Waves emulation of the EMI console that the RED47 uh, preamp is based on. That way we're kind of getting an even sample. It, you know, it, it's as scientific as I can be. But the first thing I'm gonna do for you guys is I'm gonna play everything raw with no touch-ups, no EQ, no emulations, no nothing. You can hear the uh, Chandler Limited Red next to the U87 on the exact same take, both in normal mode and in low contour mode. Then I'll show you guys how the microphones sound within the context of a mix, because I'm a huge believer of you can find the perfect microphone for you when nothing's playing, and then go with a completely different microphone once you start adding a big busy mix to it. So let's see how everything sounds and then let's uh let's talk about it. Sometimes you got to get away. Sometimes. Well, sometimes you got to get away. Sometimes the girls are always roaring whenever I go with Sinatra lightly playing on the radio. Play poker in the back room. No, I think I'll stay. So I'll sip my gin and tonic and sit back down to play. 
There's a secret place where the mood is right. A place to help me is my mind tonight with no guns and no cares. So there's no cause to fight. No. Sometimes you gotta get away. Sometimes, well, sometimes you gotta get away. Sometimes the girls are always roaring whenever I go with Sinatra lightly playing on the radio. Play poker in the back room. No, I think I'll stay. So I'll sip my gin and tonic and sit back down to play. There's a secret place where the mood is right. A place to help me is my mind tonight with no guns and no cares. So there's no cause to fight, no. Sometimes you gotta get away. Sometimes, well, sometimes you gotta get away. Sometimes the girls are always roaring whenever I go with Sinatra lightly playing on the radio. Play poker in the back room. No, I think I'll stay. So I sip my gin and tonic and sit back down to play. There's a secret place where the mood is right. A place to help me ease my mind tonight with no guns and no cares. So there's no cause to fight, no. Sometimes you gotta get away. Sometimes, well, sometimes you gotta get away. Sometimes the girls are always roaring whenever I go with Sinatra lightly playing on the radio. Play poker in the back room. No, I think I'll stay. So I sip my gin and tonic and sit back down to play. There's a secret place where the mood is right. A place to help me ease my mind tonight with no guns and no cares. So there's no cause to fight, no. Sometimes you gotta get away, sometimes, well, sometimes you gotta get away, sometimes, the girls are always roaring whenever I go, with Sinatra lightly playing on the radio, play poker in the back room, no, I think I'll stay. So I'll sip my gin and tonic and sit back down to play. There's a secret place where the mood is right. A place to help me ease my mind tonight with no guns and no cares. So there's no cause to fight, no. Sometimes you gotta get away. Sometimes, well, sometimes you gotta get away. Sometimes, the girls are always roaring whenever I go with Sinatra lightly playing on the radio. Play poker in the back room. No, I think I'll stay. So I'll sip my gin and tonic and sit back down to play. There's a secret place where the mood is right. A place to help me ease my mind tonight with no guns and no cares. So there's no cause to fight, no. 
Sometimes you gotta get away Sometimes Well, sometimes you gotta get away Sometimes The girls are always roaring whenever I go With Sinatra lightly playing on the radio Play poker in the back room No, I think I'll stay So I sip my gin and tonic and sit back down to play. There's a secret place where the mood is right. A place to help me ease my mind tonight with no guns and no cares. So there's no cause to fight, no. Sometimes you gotta get away. Sometimes, well, sometimes you gotta get away. Sometimes, the girls are always roaring whenever I go. With Sinatra lightly playing on the radio, play poker in the back room. No, I think I'll stay. So I sip my gin and tonic and sit back down to play. There's a secret place where the mood is right, a place to help me ease my mind tonight with no guns and no cares. So there's no cause to fight, no. Oh. Non 
Well, now that you've heard both samples, I'm curious what you think. Please tell me what you think in the comments below. There's a lot of talk about this microphone and comparing it to two specific microphones, uh, uh, U47 and the ELM251. I think the reason you're getting those is because it's kind of going for a sound that's in between. The, 47 has this really big presence in the mid-range, this girth to it, and the Chandler Red kind of has that. But the 251 has this great presence without being harsh, and the Chandler Red 
kind of has that too. I've heard a lot of people say it's kind of like a beefy 251. Um, and that's kind of what I think too. Low contour makes it kind of closer to that 251 sound, whereas in normal mode, it's kind of closer to the U47 sound, but it does have its own sound. It doesn't sound like a U47. It's really, really hi-fi um, in a way that I can't explain, but hopefully you guys heard in the samples I provided. Anyway, tell me what you think about it in the comments below. I love making videos like this, comparisons, you know, samples of microphones that are cool and cutting edge. I love it. So if you like what you see, like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you like performances of opera and old school Great American Songbook, please subscribe to the channel. Check out my other videos. I post a lot of those as well. That's that's sort of the, the type of music I love, and I love sharing that music with all of you and try showing you how different microphones sound on a lot of the on a lot of this kind of music as well. Anyway, thanks for viewing. Have a great day.